Now here is Townsville's hidden secret, which is absolutely a waterhole that is loaded with big red claw yabbies and crayfish. Just have a look. Um, when you're looking for similar holes, look for vegetation, lily pads, lots and lots of weed beds, um, weedy banks or tree roots, lily pads, but most of all the weed beds are so, so important because the big red claw love this, especially if it's amongst big dead trees or lay downs that are in the water. The red claw really love big, thick, dead trees. The bigger red claw I have found will hang around the big er, trees. However, if there's any barra in this uh, hole or the waters you're searching, forget it guys, because barra will eat the red claw. So the honey hole that you're looking for when you're looking for new water, it must not have barra in it. So it doesn't matter if the water is crystal clear like this hole here, or whether it's muddy, dirty, whether it's flowing or whether it's still. If there's good vegetation there, there will be red claw in there. One thing to remember, don't ever eat red claw in stagnant water, as the meat, will be a orange color and toxic. So if the meat is orange, don't ever ever eat red claw if it's orange. It needs to be that pure white color. Um, if it's not the pure white color, then disregard it. You see, red claw are, are immune to stagnant water, but it is highly poisonous to human consumption, which is caused by stagnant water. Hey, have a look at uh, this pot. We're going to pull in this pot in uh, from this crystal clear uh, little backwater that we found in Townsville. Now, have a look at how loaded this pot is. Now, guys, there was 127 red claw in this pot. Now, that is a massive massive amount of red claw and um, if you have a look at that bait feeder now that's the bait feeder that moves around when they walk all over it it moves it disperses the bait and it's so important to do that it's a good little tip that will catch you more red claw subscribe to NQ Red Claw Yabbies Australia Facebook page and the Fishing with Steve D YouTube and Facebook page guys There's a zip tie here that stays in the bottle, right? And you just use another zip tie to tie it to the frame there. This one here. And you want the bottle to move around like that because when the red claw are climbing over it and stuff, they move it around and it stirs the, uh, the burly up in the bottle and releases it. In all those holes, all I did was um, heat up a tent peg with a, with a gas torch and then you just grab the bottle and I'll well, put the, um, the tent peg in a vice and then just bang, 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 bang over the tent peg and punch all your holes and you can do it really quick. Save drilling them. So that's it mate, yeah, so just um, use a second zip tie to tie it to the frame here, you see? And then just leave that zip tie there on there permanently. And you just keep cutting this one on and off. I'll we'll cut that one off to get it out. But yeah, you need that bottle to move around so it releases the burly in the pot. All right, good luck with it. This is last night's effort. Uh, a few people have asked me how to clean them. Alright, so this one's been in the freezer for a bit. Jeez. Well, I'm surely asleep. Alright, so just grab the egg. Just 
Wig off. And grab that center flap on the tail. Right there. Give it a twist. Alright, and just gently pull it out. And the shit shoot out. Snap up those excess bits. Cool, it's already cool. Right, this is how I split them. I've already, already dead. I've already cutting down the guts with the with the knife. But right, get the rest of him. So just split down there with the knife. Then I just grab the scissors. We've already cut the meat. Let's go up the center of the shell. Get your two halves. Yep, you don't want the antenna on anything and the eyes and stuff there, I'll just break them off. Mm. Nippers don't really cook well in the barbie, I feel, so I'll just break them off and I'll throw them in the pot and boil them up. So. That's just how you want all the face removed out of it. The antenna, so we'll throw that in the end. And just the rubbish off of it. No, oh, there you just um, try your seasoning and whatever else you want to put in there, and you're ready to go straight on the barbie. Right. That's what you should look like. Enjoy.